What's up, everybody? We got a brand new item shop item today, man. The Mushroom Tip Manor. <laughs> we got the Mushroom Tip Manor, man. If y'all Hodge Twins fans, you already know about Mushroom Tips. And that's what we got. We got a big-ass Mushroom Tip. You know what I'm saying? So we got a Mushroom Tip Manor. We got to buy that. And I also need to put this in full screen because it's not in full screen and it looks hella weird. All right. Hopefully that didn't mess nothing up. But yeah. All right. So we also look. We got a We got an email. We got an email. We got some messages. We got mail. I got 4,000 Moonstone. You know, I get this all the time. Does this mean I won something? You scored 72 and ranked 3,763. I get 4,000 a lot. Not every time I do it, but a lot. I'm kind of like... But I really don't be doing nothing for the challenges. I just be chilling. Ain't I supposed to get something else too, like an item when I when I do that? Or is that when you level up? I don't know how you find your levels. Like right now, oh, I can't even show y'all my submission. I got to do another one. So I got to do a bedroom beauty. That might be something we do on here, to be honest. I got to make a beautiful bedroom. Yeah. Okay. That might be something we actually do on camera. That might be one I actually do. Because the inside of my house isn't really decorated that crazy. Uh, but we got to check out the Mushroom Tip Manor, man. That's what we got to do. Check out the Mushroom Tip Manor. By the way, before I even do it, let me just go in here and show y'all. I made a couple little adjustments. I got a Fallout outfit on right now. So in this room, I basically... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. In this room, I basically made it where I got two different outfits. So I was working on the Beauty and Beast quest because... A lot of the quests in this game, bro, they just not that entertaining. I mean, it's definitely the type of stuff you want to do off camera because I'm not reading all of that. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just skipping through it. But I did the Beauty and the Beast quest and you got a gold outfit. So you see here we got Disney Bay with the blonde wig or with the blonde hair with the gold fit on looking real spiffy. And then we got over here, we got my boy. He got his gold fit on. But then over here, we got like beach fits. So I'm trying to organize the couple to like organize the outfit. So these are like beach day fits. You know what I'm saying? We got the crafting bench in there. Trying to make this room and the other room look equal, which I really like how they came out. I still got to do my main room different. But you see here, like we got the Halloween fit. So you got Disney Bay's fit over here. You got my boy right here. Got the Oogie Boogie, but then you got Disney Bay with the uh with the dress from Nightmare Before Christmas. Same with this. This is kind of like a fall fresh fit. You know what I'm saying? And you got Disney Bay. Disney Bay got the little cowgirl fit on, kind of a fall fit too. Something like that. But uh we need to check out the house. I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of that. I'm trying to work on the house a little bit off camera, just try to make it look official. But I might do that bedroom challenge with y'all. So let's see what this house look like. Got the house mushroom tip. Damn, it's big. Mushroom tip manor. Now this house could probably go in the forest. Let's plop it down. See what it's looking like. Okay. It don't really match too well in the forest because the grass is so much greener. I mean, you could definitely do it in the forest, but I probably wouldn't plop that in the forest. It's raining, so it's kind of killing the vibe, but the beach, I don't really have nowhere on the beach to show y'all where Moana's house probably would look cool. Let me move Moana's house real quick. I'm going to just delete some of this stuff so y'all can get an idea how it look like. Just make sure I undo it when I get out of here because I don't want to have to play myself. Damn, I still can't get it over there. Okay, so I, I kind of fit it over here. Kind of, you know what? This almost looks like, let me turn that down. This almost looks like where it was designed for, don't it? That grass matches perfectly on the beach. It don't really fit the vibe though. Like you wouldn't think mushroom tip on the beach. Let's undo all. Definitely don't want to save that. Um, So I would say yes on the beach for sure. No in Forest of Valor. Of course, definitely not probably in the snow biome that looks kind of ridiculous you could do it but i mean i wouldn't do it and then you got the plaza i mean you probably could do the plaza if your plaza was more naturey mine is super paved off and plaza like so i wouldn't do the plaza at all i'm thinking the meadow might work pretty well too i'm gonna go ahead and just plop it right here and take up the pavement let's just remove the pavement oh you know what i think it was meant for the meadow you see how perfect that is that's a perfect match for the meadow so if y'all looking for like a, a a meadow house this is definitely a match let me go ahead and undo that all again and then down here in the swamp i'm gonna say definitely not that doesn't match at all that grass definitely doesn't match 
you know what they could have did? They could have actually made that grass pick up the color of the grass on the ground. That would have gave you a little bit more freedom. And then over here in the sunlit plateau, which you see I got my Beauty and the Beast up here, this don't really fit in sunlit either, but you could play it in sunlit because you see how this is dirt and then it goes up and then it's grass. So you could definitely put this in sunlit plateau, which is where I was actually thinking about doing it was in sunlit. Cause I feel like it would look good over here, but see, I can't even fit it over here. That's why I got Simba. Damn. It's not like a lot of space, but sunlit, you could play this. Even if you deleted this, I'm gonna just delete this pavement. You see, I feel like if you place this on one of them spots, that's brown and already, it really makes sense because of the brown coochie paint booty hole brown you know what i'm saying like that it makes sense but for right now it looks like the only real winners are the meadow and the plaza if your plaza is not done and then of course the beach too and then up here you know it ain't gonna look right it's just gonna look dumb up here even if you remove the pavement it's just that just looks completely out of place and it doesn't make any sense but i mean if your game is different you know what i'm saying might fit but I'm not thinking you got a lot of freedom with this one. I'm thinking Sunlit, you could play it. Meadow, you could play it. Plaza, you could play it. Beach, you could play it. So I like the house, though. But I just don't know where I'm going to put it. I mean, I might could do something where I move Eric completely out of here. Eric maybe could go in the forest. The problem with Eric going in the forest is that it's palm trees connected with eric's house is this turning into a building episode chat i think it's turning into a building episode i don't want to do too much because y'all probably would rather see this in a different video i was just trying to think where would i put this house at it looks really good in the meadow though like you think meadow next to the casita that would look official where is it even at now i lost the house where did it go bro i lost the house yo oh there it is yeah, the meadow, like, if you could, if I, maybe I could put it over here. Yo, you know what? That might be where I put it. That might be where I put it. I might do a little something different over on this side and maybe make that like a little backyard neighbor to the casita because that goes really well. It just don't, it don't give you that grandma's house energy. What is going on, man? Get this out of my hand. I hate when that starts doing that, when it's like clicking everything. Usually you got to go out and go back in. So I, when I, let me just check real quick before I end this episode. I really would like to put it over here with the farm. This is way bigger than Mickey now. I mean, Goofy them crib. Way bigger than the pumpkin crib. It's safe to say it's a big ass mushroom tip. You know what I'm saying? I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> And uh, I do want to see what it looked like, though. So let me just go ahead and move these out the way. Would it work here as a part of the farm? Damn, it actually would, y'all. That looks pretty nice in Sunlit uh, Plateau. And that's saying that, and it's raining. I might have to try to figure out a way to get that in Sunlit Plateau because that looks really good like that. It's not going to match the grass, so I'm going to probably have to make that paved off. And then had a pumpkin house next to it, maybe... Damn, because I had this over here. So maybe I could take this, move this somewhere else, and then put Goofy over here. And then that's the three farmers. Basically, whoever lives here. Damn, what happened to my light? Oh, damn, my battery died. I got to use my other light now. So, yeah, basically, like you could say the, the um, three farmers, Mother Gothel, Goofy, and then whoever lives here owns the farm. And then maybe I could put Wally's truck over here, which is not really part of the farm like I like it to be, but that mushroom house is nice though. But regardless, I just wanted to show y'all the house. I would say you definitely got to buy it. You know, every damn episode is like you got to buy it. But these houses been hitting, man. Like, look at the one in the snow biome. Look how look where I put it. I'm not finished decorating or nothing, but I just stuck it in the corner. It looked like it's part of the biome. Perfect. Same with the uh the mansion, the haunted mansion. Like you had to buy that. That just it looks too good over there. And you get the other mansion, which is kind of like a creepy version. It's just they've been hitting it with the houses. They've been they've been, they ain't been missing. So I would definitely say you gotta cop the house, but it is three thousand moonstones. But if you've been grinding, you should be good, man. But let me know in the comments what you think about the new mushroom tip house. And I will be making some more design videos, at least one more, 
before uh, we start doing Christmas because, you know, Christmas is right around the corner and I'm going to start doing different type of content. So because I got to, man, I feel like a lot of these content I'm making, I'm, I'm, I'm spitting a lot of knowledge and I'm doing a lot of stuff that would be getting more views if my format was different. So maybe like I'm going to do more like a podcast format or a uh, a uh, reaction type for uh, format. I don't know why I stutter so damn much. But yeah, like a forecast <laughs> forecast a podcast format or a damn what is this new items too we gotta get this man we gotta get that that's looking real nice but yeah podcast format or a reaction format i, I gotta try something different because gaming just it ain't getting me where i think i should be getting to and i think it's just because of the people that don't watch gaming would probably watch other stuff and they don't so we'll see but i love y'all regardless i'm be making content because that's what i do i love y'all Peace. That was amazing. Hey, go check out Sunny D. It's like the drink. Sunny D. Hey. All of those long, hard hours of work definitely pay off. Well. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.